Welcome to November's roundup of must-have and hidden gem mods for Fallout 4. This month, we're diving into a fresh selection of mods that add everything from immersive gameplay mechanics to stunning visual enhancements, perfect for upgrading your Fallout 4 experience. Whether you're a seasoned wasteland wanderer or just diving back in, there's something here for everyone. Let's get right into it. At first, I'll start by showcasing some hidden gem mods. These are mods I haven't had the chance to introduce yet, though some of you might already be familiar with them. I hope you'll bear with me as I go over these picks and perhaps discover a few new favorites along the way. First up is Seasons Change, A Merry Modding Days, an ambitious project that brings dynamic seasonal changes to the game. With this mod, you'll experience a shift in seasons within the game world. Snowfall blankets the land in winter, while other seasons bring varied weather patterns. Through Seasons Change, you can enjoy unique environmental updates for each season, including snow in winter and rain in other seasons. It enhances elements like tree textures and other surroundings, enriching your visual experience. It's also compatible with weather mods like True Storms and Vivid Weathers, making Fallout 4's environment even more immersive and realistic. Next up is Hit Those Explosives, a mod that introduces a new layer of destructive fun to Fallout 4. With this mod, striking any explosive weapons or ammunition triggers a blast, allowing for dynamic chain reactions and a new level of total destruction. It's automatically compatible with all explosive weapons and ammo, and since it's ESP-free, you can install or remove it anytime, adding excitement and variety to your Fallout 4 combat experience. Next up is Enemies Fear Power Armor, a mod that makes NPCs recognize and fear the player when in power armor. With this mod, enemies have a chance to flee when you enter combat or take down another NPC while suited up, adding a sense of intimidation to power armor encounters. Using lightweight scripts, this mod works seamlessly with minimal impact on performance and is compatible with power armor overhauls like Bastion and AI overhauls such as PMTC, enriching the power armor combat experience in Fallout 4. In this section, we'll introduce the latest weapon mods. First up is the HK MP7A2. This mod brings the iconic MP7 submachine gun to Fallout 4 faithfully replicating its modern look and functionality with detailed textures and animations. With its high rate of fire but low recoil, it's easy for beginners to handle. Additionally, you can attach tactical sights and lasers on the top and right rails, along with a foregrip and suppressor, offering a wide range of modification options. The mod also includes custom sounds and reload animations, adding an immersive and tactical edge to the Fallout 4 experience. Next up is the Watts 3000 MK2. Building on the original Watts 2000 laser gun, this advanced model introduces features such as bio-locking and ammo management through a Pip-Boy link, an ammo counter, and an intelligent targeting system, making it one of the first smart guns with extensive customization options. Though the weapon's base design is a pistol, it can be modified with different barrels and stocks to transform into a rifle. A particularly impressive detail is the rotating cell at the back of the gun and the visible ammo count display as you fire. In-game, the Watts 3000 MKII is available from level 30 and can be found with Brotherhood soldiers, high-level gunners, vendors, trappers, and raider disciples. With various color options and customizable parts, this mod brings fresh excitement and versatility to your gameplay experience. Next up is the Combat Rifle Attachment and Weaponry Expansion Rat Runner's Arsenal. Mod introduces a diverse array of attachments and customization options for the Combat Rifle in Fallout 4. This mod greatly expands on the original weapon by adding new barrels, stocks, receivers, and scopes enabling players to build a combat rifle that suits their exact playstyle and tactical needs. With these enhancements, you can transform the combat rifle into a versatile weapon with options like extended magazines, custom grips, unique paint jobs, and even new firing mods. Players can access these new attachments through the weapon workbench, 
providing a deeper layer of customization and making the combat rifle a formidable, adaptable weapon in the Fallout 4 wasteland. Next up is the Those Guns PKD Blasters model. This mod offers two versions of the PKD detective pistol, a .357 civilian version and a .223 high caliber version, each with unique customization options. The .357 civilian variant features a lighter metal finish and green lighting, while the .223 variant has a darker metal finish with red lighting, suited for elite factions. These blasters are available to various enemies in-game, enhancing combat encounters with new and stylish weaponry for a fresh gameplay experience. Next up is the Black Ops 6 Colt 723 and STG-44. This latest mod by Warfighters introduces two iconic weapons from the Black Ops series into the game. Personally, I find the gunfire sound a bit on the quiet side, but that's just my opinion. Overall, the rifle's design and reload animations are impressive. It also features a functional grenade launcher that can be mounted on the lower barrel section. When equipped with a 40mm grenade, it allows you to use the launcher instead of throwing grenades, making combat even more tactical. On the other hand, the STG-44 features a more classic design that fits well within the Fallout 4 universe. This rifle has substantial recoil and offers decent modification options, with custom animations like the throwing motion that really stand out. Personally, I preferred the metal stock over the wooden one, so I customized that part for my showcase. The dual aiming mechanism, using both the front sight and sight at the muzzle, left a particularly strong impression. Next up is Cyberpunk 2077, Malorian Arms 3516. This mod brings Johnny Silverhand's iconic weapon from Cyberpunk 2077 into the game. Previously, we only had the Cyberpunk 2077 Malorian Arms animation. But now, with the addition of the Malorian Arms 3516, you can fully experience the Cyberpunk 2077 Malorian Arms complete with animations. You can craft it at the chemistry station, and the reload animation, firing, and gunshot sounds are almost identical to those in Cyberpunk, allowing you to experience the world of Cyberpunk in the Commonwealth with stunning accuracy. Next up is the Grease Gun SMG M3 Redux. This submachine gun is quite lore friendly and is an improved version of the original Grease Gun SMG. Key features include better level list integration, bug fixes, third-person animations, several optics and muzzle attachments, and support for tactical reloads. It's a great alternative to replace the vanilla submachine gun, and it's highly recommended for those who appreciate classic rifles. Now, this section is about outfits. First up, I tried on the girls' Frontline 2 Vector outfit. This outfit set offers a modern, custom-fitted look, and it even includes a wig inspired by the Vector character. I didn't wear the wig as it didn't suit my character, but it's a great option to have. I also paired it with the HUD visor from HUD visor and Magnet Pack, which adds a functional touch to the outfit. When modified at the armor workbench, the HUD visor not only adds visual flair, but also helps detect creatures in dark areas by highlighting them in red. The Magnet Pack offers several options, allowing me to choose based on my preferences, which I found really convenient. Next up is the girls' frontline 2 Klukies jersey. I initially worried it might look overly anime-inspired, but it turned out to suit my character perfectly, making it a favorite of mine. The deep navy jacket with its distinct patterns, pistol holster, and shoulder shield really gives it a stylish edge. Plus, removing the jacket reveals a special agent vibe that adds extra versatility to the outfit. You can craft this outfit at the chem lab, and it also supports body slide, making it a solid choice for customization. Finally, we have the girls' Frontline 2 Mekti. This outfit features a striking green jumper with impressive detailing, though it does lean toward an anime-inspired style. Those who prefer a more realistic look might find it a bit out of place. However, if you're using custom races or unique characters like Nanako, this outfit could be a great match. The design includes a well-crafted backpack, shoulder guards, and a scarf around the neck, all of which add character to the outfit. Plus, if you take off the jumper, 
It transitions to a clean, casual look, making it versatile enough for different settings. Last but not least, let's dive into some effects mods, starting with ZP's Frost and Shock. This mod enhances the frost and shock effects throughout the game, boosting visual quality in every encounter. It reworks small but impactful elements, like sparks from metal impacts, and includes updated visuals for teleport effects, cryo, and pulse grenade explosions, making each effect more immersive and detailed for a richer Fallout 4 experience. Additionally, by the same creator, we have Fire and Smoke, a mod that reworks in-game fire and smoke effects for a more immersive visual experience. It upscales textures to 2K and 4K, enhancing the realism of flames and smoke throughout the game. This boost in quality adds significant depth to every explosion and fiery detail, elevating Fallout 4's overall atmosphere. That wraps up our must-have and hidden gem mods for Fallout 4 this November. If you found a new favorite or tried something from this list, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated on the latest mods each month. Thanks for watching and happy modding.